So my name is Pete and today I'm presenting on trade and all the time periods that have developed. In the ancient days they traded silk, porcelain and pots, spices, carpets and etc. such as glass, silk, horses, copper and other luxurious items. This has impacted us in a big way because they used to tr treat foreign traders with honor and respect. This has made um, tr interacting and socializing with foreign traders a lot better and has boosted the economy. If these events never existed, trade wouldn't develop. This means that they would still be trading with items in the barter system. Spaghetti wouldn't even be found if traders didn't travel across continents. People would still be primitively trading in their own countries if traders didn't know about traveling. Traveling has boosted trade in many ways. It has also boosted the economy and for the further people travel, they would gain more profit. So in the Industrial Revolution, started about 1750, spice trade has been far surpassed in importance by trade in primary products. Because the Industrial Revolution has occurred in Europe, it has become the center of global network connections. Only China and Japan resisted the onslaught of the European traders. As factories and mills spread across the continents, people moved into town, and instead of trading, they worked in shops, luxurious, and industries as employees. The impact. In Europe, the Industrial Revolution changed item trade to paper currency trading. Instead of trading, people also went to work in factories. This gave them more profit and allowed them to live in better homes. So today, trade is something you participate in every day, buying and selling items and objects. Although trade today at both local and global levels, they all involve the exchange of money. Certain countries specialize in products, for example, Turkey, they specialize in textiles. Many believe that the financial crisis could be avoided to foreign traders if the foreign exchange had tighter governing rules, um, the financial crisis wouldn't occur. Imported items has also increased prices because they had to pay taxes for shipped items. Before, they, had to, they used to trade with honor and respect without cheating, but now the WTO organization has to help set trade rules that are fair to everyone because people started cheating because of greed. So tr how transportation relates to trade? The, no, technology. The better technology we have, the better trade the economy will boost also. Because trade can be faster by cars, trains, and boats. They used to have carts and stuff to travel, but that was a lot slower. This, with better transportation, it also means that we could travel further and quicker, and which means that we could get more profit. So impact. Trade became a priority of life right now because without trade, people would all be below the poverty line because the economy would be really low and people would be in poverty because of no jobs. Fair trade has started to crumble ever since they started from the ancient time period. So many people had to set up fair trade rules. This is a really bad thing, cheating, because people would fall in poverty and the population would also decrease. So in conclusion, from first times humans have ever started trading, trade has developed ever since. From the ancient time period, people have been trading with copper, metal goods, and etc. and other luxurious items. In the Industrial Revolution, they developed other, other ways to trade, such as in factories and paying with paper currency. Right now, in the modern day period, we trade in business finance, but we still have problems cheating and breaking rules. However, in the ancient time period, fair trade is a very strict rule. More jobs there are more work. The more jobs that there are, the more workers there are and employees. It mean, this means that more profit is made. 
The farther people could travel, the more profit they could make because other countries maybe may think of an item more, with more exclusiveness. This is my bibliography. Thank you.